Welcome to today's video guys. We are back at the auction house. This one is USS Yokohama to go check out some cool cars for sale today. There's actually one particular car that I'm hoping to bid on, which we'll get to in a little bit. We've got to check it out, make sure everything's all good on it because it is in the crash corner, but it'll be a very, very cool car for the channel. That aside, we are kind of on like the, uh, I guess like GDM imports kind of level. Uh, over here, they're not called that. But, uh, you know, we've got skylines here and stuff. I'm going to go check out some cool cars. I'm here with my friend Rohab. You might see him over there. Uh, we've hanged out a fair few times. But uh, let's see what's available. Ooh, S15. Damn, you found the good one right away. Turbo. Looks like a Spec R. It is a Spec R. 34, um, uh, sorry, 32, 32 Skyline. Wheels. On it. wheels. It is a bit rough, you know, paint. Oh, yeah, but this would be perfect to turn into like an FD car. Oh, yeah, definitely. But I mean, let's be honest, you wouldn't spend money on a spec R, you just get a spec SNA. Spec S and then just swap it? Yeah. But still, this would be a good price, like, car. Because it'd be a bit cheaper with the paint damage, and as long as no one doesn't mind doing some work. It's got all the manual service records, some Nismo parts record. Not too bad. Nice Deffy gauges too. Carbon hood. Wow, my turn brake caliper. Yeah. yeah. That's clean. All back to stock too, like stock airflow meter and everything. How many Ks has this done? It's about 94,000 kilometers. 94,000 yeah, Ks. Not too bad. Looks like it's uh, had a hard life though and sat outside most of its life, unfortunately. Another car that I'm interested in. Got a 34 four door here. Looks like a GTT turbo. Fairly modified. Paint's pretty faded on this too, but that could also just be dust. It's got a weird front fiberglass over fender. Um, a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people ask why the shift knobs are missing these days. They put them in bags like this, attached to the steering wheel. Because a fair few years ago, people would just walk into the auctions and steal all that stuff and then sell it on Yahoo Auctions or eBay. So they have to lock the shift knobs up now separately. Yeah, you gotta check this out. This is something special. Yo, this is cool. Right. This looks like it's been here for a while though. She's pretty dusty. Yeah, they're... They'll have a crazy price tag on this. I'm pretty sure there's a Jay-Z, like a 2Jay-Z in this. Oh, Beams Turbo. Beams Turbo, exactly. Dude, that's so cool. Let me get a light out so we can have a look at that. This is so rare to see. Normally people just Jay-Z swap these. Yeah. But they do a proper turbo swap on that. Look at the size of that turbo. It looks like it came tiny. off a K car. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tiny turbo. Yeah. But that I bet you it's fun. Should be. That's so cool. The reason why it probably has it's been sitting here so long is the guy probably wants way too much for it. Yeah, I know they they're looking for 1.5 million for this car. Oh wow, yeah, that's too much. It's done 95,000 Ks though. Yeah. Overall it looks like a really clean Alteza. I like it. I don't like the uh, the circled out kind of lights in the rear though. Yeah, I mean those covers can just come off. And just, mm. yeah. Double sided taped on. Yeah. That's cool though. Beams turbo swap. And then we got this. This is a manual 2J turbo Aristo, basically the four door Supra. Yeah, they'll be wanting a bit of money for this too. Yeah, this, this car has been here for like three weeks now. Mm. What are they trying to sell this one for, like two I, mil? I think they're asking about, well, well almost two mil, yeah. Yeah. 1.8. It's got a nice paint though. I love that kind of uh, like matte, matte yeah. gray. It's cool. You used to be able to buy these 2JZ Aristos for cheaper than the 2JZ selling for on Yahoo Auctions. Yeah, not not manual though, I'm autos. Them now. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even get one for like less than 12 grand now these days, and that's even an auto one, which is why 2Js are now so expensive. They're like eight grand a pop. Let's have a look, there's some more cars around here for sure. This style NSX always trips me out because the front of it kind of, I mean, now hear me out, kind of looks like an MR2 Spider until you get close to it. And then it's like, oh no, that's an NSX. But thing looks insane. These cars really are cool. I'm way more of a fan of the pop-up light front end, but... But have you noticed something? What? It's not an NSX. What? Shut up. It's not a real NSX, it's an it's The US version is the left-hand drive. Oh, it's not a real, it's an NSX, but it's left-hand drive. There you go. I, I'm not gonna lie, like, I do know that a lot of people in Japan, when they can't get their hands on these, it's cheaper to buy them in the States and import them. So I'm not surprised, yeah. I've seen that before. Mm -hmm. So, still it's a cool car, give them that. Let's see what else we can find. 
Just found this clean black two-door GTT. This thing is nice. Sunroof model. Personally, I stay away from sunroof models just because of the rust potential up here. And you can already see like it started to do some weird stuff there. Automatic. So this would be the cheaper end of uh, 34 GTTs. I feel like white ones are definitely the better one though. They look nicer in my opinion. Ooh, very stock and unmolested. That's nice. Even still got the OEM battery plastic around it. Ooh, that's clean. No rust in the strut tops either. Just found this relatively clean 180SX. Over fenders. Got like a B-Wave wing going on. Very clean actually. Let's pop the hood. Let's check this thing out. It's locked. Oh, bummer, we gotta get the key for this one. Yeah, but check out the seat, it looks so cool. Yeah, it does. A little camo there. Yeah. The steering wheel matches it too. And he's got a big hydro in there, and check this out. <laughs> yeah, I know, the, the one that bolts onto the e the factory e-brake. Those things are so annoying to use though. They look cool, but yeah, I can- Yeah, they're too big. Like, yeah. Grip on them. And you gotta pull them so far back. I think they're almost pointless. Far out, this thing is clean. It's definitely like the intake manifold's been off before. Yeah. And cleaned. This car's been like prepped for auction for sure. <laughs> yeah, like they've put a lot of this OEM stuff back on. You can really tell because like the intake manifold's pretty much brand, brand new, new. But the rest of the engine doesn't match that same alloy Check this color. Out. It's with an ABS. Mm. I don't think I've seen one with an ABS. Hmm. So it's the newer model then. So yep. it could be a Type X then. It is. Black top, so that makes sense. Interesting. Yeah, here, right? But this isn't where it's supposed to be. This has been relocated here. That's right. It's yeah. supposed to be. Wait a second. What? Yeah. What? I'm what? so confused right now. Huh? huh? <laughs> what? Well, that's weird. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because like even this type of harness has been rerouted this way. See? Yeah. So they've pulled the whole thing out and redone it. Yep. Yeah, this car, I think they've like made it look as OEM as possible for the auctions. Yeah, personally, Perfect I don't example. like this style of overfenders. I don't know no. about you, what do you think? No, I don't like that style of yeah. overfenders either. Just rivet it on. Yeah, but I get the look. Yeah. Yeah, but this wouldn't I be too hard. If you fold it in, it would be much better. Mm. Wouldn't be too hard to fix though. Yeah. Still got the Type X passenger seat. Yeah. The tails though are not Type X. Oh, they're Zenki. Yeah. But it's a what Type X part? shell if it's got if it's got ABS and stuff, I think. No, it is a Type X for sure. It states on the report. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe he wanted the Zenki look. Could be. Yeah. That's so weird. Like everyone always normally wants the Type X tails. <laughs> Yo, this Jimny looks sick. Let's let's uh let's have a look at this. Maybe if I mean if it's cheap, maybe I'll just buy this today. <laughs> oh, no, Sam, don't do that. Just another blind buy. Yo, this thing looks awesome. Dude, it's even got a CV radio. Look at this thing. Oh, that's cool. Dude, how long before I, if I bought this, how long do you think it'd take me to roll it? <laughs> right out of the auctions, I guess? Right out of the auction. Dude, this thing is freaking awesome. It's lifted and everything. Yeah, it's like ready for me to rage. Jimny. Yeah, this thing's cool. Found a 33 GTR, hood's already popped, so someone's been checking it out, but oh, this man. thing is clean. In like no rust in the tops this or even up here. Places that they usually go. Yeah. It's really clean. This is actually really clean. Usual uh, RB26 intake manifold coating peeling off. Front bumper's been bashed a bit, but that's normal, especially if you're driving on the streets of Tokyo. It's pretty clean. Recently had intake manifold gaskets done. It's got a brand new cam angle sensor on there. Just basic things that you need for a car of this age, really. It looks really clean though. Yeah. Interior is really nice. Crack on the wing there. Yeah, this is really nice. I'm, I, I can't tell, is it? It's black, yeah. I was like, it's not midnight purple because no, it's kind of faded, but it was hard to tell because it's kind of reflecting here. Definitely needs a paint job. Interior is really not too bad. 
Huh? A black V spec. You don't get to see these. No. Very often. This thing will sell for a lot of money though. Yeah. Even though it's in this kind of bad shape, like body wise. It's not too, it's not too bad because it's not got any rust and no damage. I guess you just need a, a clear coat on it and that's pretty much it. Yeah, you could probably like polish it and then clear, yeah. re clear coat it, right? Yeah. Like, uh, what do they call it? Like uh, cut and polish and stuff? Yeah. The wing's a bit damaged in points here, but that's from slamming the trunk. This always happens. But it's really clean inside. Yeah, it's really clean. Rubbers are a bit uh, how you going on the glass, but that's that's pretty normal for a car that's sat outside, I'd say, for most of its life. Yeah, Still got the stock wheels, too. Mm. Uh, just two. Oh, yeah, I just <laughs> noticed that. I just noticed that. It's got different that? wheels. What is that? That's just something weird. <laughs> That's something to bring the price down. Mm. I'm gonna take a, a quick picture of uh, of this and we'll see what it sells for. Cause uh, yeah. I wouldn't mind a 33 it's GTR. It's got shock in? Nice. We could drive this out of here if uh... Oh man. I'm a sucker for these still. I still like the 33 rear end, hey. Not if, no, like the 34 front end was great, but the 33 rear listen, end was just listen, curvy. You need a 34 in your life. You don't need a 33. Yeah. <laughs> just forget about these. Let's go and find you a 34. Just be done with it. I do not have 34 money right now, my guy. This thing's kind of cool. S14 with an S15 front. Nice. Oh, this thing was at the other options uh, last week. Oh, Tokyo? Yep. Wasn't yeah, doing a bit of, oh yeah, the hood, the hood's flipped up on it and smashed the roof in. It's pretty dusty. Definitely a beater. Definitely a beater. Let's do a reverse Minami on this thing. <laughs> Jump it. Oh, it's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Big sad. I think we'll be able to There's like weird CV parts there and stuff. The hood's like messed up because it's smacked on the roof. Yeah. Basic Japan mods. I love this. The kink, <laughs> kink in the zip ties. Yeah. I kind of dig this color. I That's an interesting nice. color, yeah. Not bad. AC delete, usual kind of mods. S14 with a fitting front. I like that. That's cool. And behind this thing is this. This is nice. S13, blue wheels, yeah, it's like this kind of silvery metallic cream kind of color. That's nice. It's open. Oh, it's got a sunroof as well? Yeah, sunroof model. It's got the HUD, the dash HUD display. Oh, yeah, it does. But let's see if it works because 90% yeah. of them are broken. Pop the hood, pop the hood. Yo, this is nice. This is real nice. Yeah. And the hood is like proper shell cut out uh, FRP. This is a really nice one. BN Sports, obviously. This is nice. Well done. It's got a chip factory ECU because it's running a Z32. It's got... Oh, it's got an RSC turbo, I'm out. <laughs> if you don't know, RSE, Real Speed Engineering, is the fake Tomei brand of Japan. So Tomei Powered is, uh, Tomei Powered is Japan, right? And then there's Tomei USA. And the guy who runs the Tomei USA has no association with Japan whatsoever. He just uses the name. He wanted to sell his same Tomei copy parts that he gets made in China in Japan. So he made the brand RSE. And that's what those turbos are. So a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, I never heard about that. That's why like a lot of people who complain about broken cams and stuff, they're normally Tomei USA cams. Yeah, but this was uh, originally a uh, NA shell and they turbo swapped it. I mean, that's pretty normal. They're yeah. the same thing really. Yeah, they are. But what I don't like about this car is the triple projector. I mean, at this point, I don't even care. It's You're, you're lucky enough to have a clean S13, let's that be honest. That is true, yeah. yeah. It is actually really nice. Cracking the dash, but who cares? Just, it's a clean S13. I There's dig this. Seat. Yeah, I really dig this. And just spotted this nose of the Stagia sticking out. This is cool. This would be a base model, so probably like uh, RB25 
It does have the wing though. Hmm. Let's find out. It is a turbo. It's auto, so it's not going to be the 260 RS, but it has a 260 RS wing. Yeah. Oh, my lord. Man, this thing's good just for this, you know, the Just the engine, engine drivetrain. My gosh. <laughs> Holy crap, it's broken in here. Oh no. Yeah, it's Wait. like actually cracked. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I hope no one blind bids on this. Oh, it's all in here too. This is what you got to be so careful about with anything from this era, from the 34s and 33s. This stuff is, it yeah. It's all the way back there. Oh man, it's all separated under there. It's, yeah, this this thing's kind of just drivetrain only. I this would, is why people, whenever they're, whenever they're buying cars from, you know, abroad, options, and, yeah. Yeah, they need to have someone out here 100%. to check the cars for them. Yeah. Everything, underside and everything. Because it looks relatively clean from the outside. Yeah. And this is cool because it's got the double uh, sunroofs too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but it's got the 260 RS rear wing. That threw me off. Well, Not bad. Too. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed. <laughs> it's sad whenever you see like a nice car like this in that bad condition rust-wise. We've got a Cedric here. These things are cool. I've seen a lot of people starting to get into these cars actually and um, trying to drift them because they're cheap. Yeah. And they have pretty decent motors. Not bad. I guess it's a VQ, right? Yep. Hmm. VQ 25, is it? Or VQ 30? Um, I don't know. This one's a VQ 30. Yeah, it's not a 37, because 37 has dual throttle bodies. Yeah. Not bad, though. Cool, fun cars. And you can do manual swaps on them pretty easily. Yeah. The Z32 transmission? Yeah. Well, the, the CDO9 from the 350Z. Yeah. Yo, there's a Legnum here. This is nice. Have you seen that, that orange one that I posted on Instagram from uh, Ebisu? The S14. Yeah, the S14 yeah, with the leg in front. Cool. Twin turbo, baby. <laughs> Just uh, hope that you never have to do any maintenance on this. Yeah, because... That's a tight squeeze. Just change the... What, well, you gotta change the oil filter? You gotta yeah. check the engine out. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's like spark plugs, engine out. It's like, uh, what do they call the 300Z, ZX? The yeah, the Z32. These are cool cars though. Twin turbo V6. They came rear wheel drive, they're really cool. Yeah. This was the four wheel drive version. Yeah, all wheel drive. They're cool. This is um equivalent of what the like the all wheel drive FDO, right? The poor yeah. man's Ferrari. Yeah. Just in a more of a sedan version. These are cool cars. There's a lot of cars with sunroof side here. Hmm. Let's see what else we can find. There's definitely some more. We need to go to the crash corner though and check out some of the cheap the cheap bargains, the stuff that we want to build, you know? Let's go let's go to the crash corner, I think. So this is the corner that you want down here. This is a crash section. This is uh, this is where you find generally a bargain. And uh, the little white guy there is what I'm interested in today. But uh, there's a lot of cool stuff down there. Let's see what we can find. What is that thing? See any other cool? Yeah, I don't know, like an old school Alfa Romeo or something. A lot of normal cars in here too, good for parts and whatnot. Hopefully one day we'll find an Evo 6 or something in there that I can use for a parts car. <laughs> Ooh, this is clean. Wow. Yeah, this thing is nice. Looks like if we got ourselves a factory manual JZX90, boys. This is as clean as uh, Jeff's one. Whew. Let's pop that hood. She sounds really nice. Brand new. Yeah, this looks exactly like Jeff's one. This thing is starting to sell off for a pretty penny too. This is the one that has a super low mileage as well. It's only got like 30,000 kilometers. Of Shut up. No way is that real. 30,000 kilometers from you. Whoa, this thing's going to sell for a lot then. This thing's a collector's item. Yeah, full granddad spec. Looks like it's been resprayed. Has it? I think so. I don't know, it's hard to tell. No, since it's a 4.5 grade, this is not a resprayed car. You're right, 4.5, it can't be resprayed. Yeah. 30,000 kilometers, far out. This thing is so clean. I'm jealous. This thing's gonna be way over 2 million, huh? Yeah, this will sell for way over 2 million, and then add fees on top of that. This could be easily like a 3 million car. Yeah. 3 million yen, so like $30,000 USD. 
for a JZX90 twin turbo 1J non VVTi. That thing is beautiful. It's flawless. Yeah. It Far out. Huh? Nice. Finding all the JDMs now. They're kind of scattered through Yokohama. You got to look real hard for them. This thing's kind of clean. It's got a miracle Actually, brace. This is the one that I was talking about. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's locked on, so. It's got a miracle brace bar in the back. It's kind of cool. Type X tails. Okay, okay. Oh, FRP hood. Oh, yeah, it's locked. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll hold on it. Sometimes 180s S settings are <laughs> always do this. There you go. <laughs> it didn't even. Oh, it is really messed up that latch. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Type X black top. Nice. Pretty modest mods. Hmm. I'm loving this. <laughs> Just like free hang in there, the catch can, the OEM catch can, and the. You need to have this stuff in here for shucking. Yeah. And then everyone just like puts it in there for shucking and then takes it out. So that's probably why it's sitting there. Probably. It's pretty clean though. Yeah, I kind of like it. Yeah, not bad. You want to bid on it, son? Ooh, what is an S13 sell for? I'll, I, this is. I thought this was like painted pink, but this is really faded. No, it's just faded. That plastic for the weather strips. What do you think something like yeah, this, this would sell for? It already has the Type X tail light. Yeah, I know. And it's got the carbon RPS set in here. Yeah. What do you think something like this will sell for? I think we're looking anywhere over 1.1, 1.2 million. So maybe like 12 grand? 12 grand US, yeah, for something like this. Yeah, and that's before fees and export that's, and all that kind of stuff. That. Yeah, so that's just for the car itself. Yeah, so, and this isn't like, like this has got over fenders, so yeah. you don't really know what's under here. We can have try and have a look, but... It is R grade and, and, and yeah, you see it's, it's been resprayed. Yeah, I don't know about that. Under the over fenders, it does not look good, yeah. And these tail lights are broken. Yeah. Okay, let's just lower the price real quick. Yeah. <laughs> One mil. One mil, yeah, but I mean, we'll see, we'll find out. I'll let you guys know what this sells for. What time does this go? I believe this is in the afternoon as well, like in a couple of hours. Maybe. Mm, we'll go get lunch maybe and chill for a bit. Not bad though, like it's it, it's definitely a fixer-upper. Like for someone like you and me, this is a good buy. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, but if you're trying to buy a clean Prestige 13, I would not touch I'm this, yeah. <laughs> if you don't want to work hard on for, for something, then don't touch it, yeah. And I know we walked past it, but Integra Type R here, on some NKs. I know people say Enki, but it's NK, all right? K as in K-E-I, like K-car. So N-K, remember that. My wife taught me that. Oh, it's locked. Bummer. Ah, I wanted to hear that VTEC. Interesting choice for the Recaro seat, though. That looks like an OEM Recaro seat from some kind of car. Yeah. Almost looks like an RX-8 seat with that silver plastic up there. Resembles. Pretty clean, though. These things are starting to sell for stupid money, though. Anything that's got Type R written on the side now sells for spec crazy R, money. Basically a Spec R, a Type R. Mm, anything, yeah. Spec R, Type R. All the R's sell for a lot of money now. PTR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got another four door 34 here. And uh, judging by looking at it, looks like non turbo because it doesn't have the gauge uh, cluster there or anything. Let's pop the hood, have a look. Yeah. Yikes, look at these fenders. It's like grabbed an adjustable wrench and just bent them up. <laughs> the splitter is kind of interesting and broken. Cool daily, but oh, yeah, the engine swap and drift would be cool. What is that? That's a non turbo RB20. RB20? Is, is, yeah, I think it's an RB. It is an RB20, yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this will be the Neo RB20 then. So, not yeah. many people know that some 34s, even uh, even the uh, coupes, had um, RB20s in them. The Neo RB20. Did you know some of them came with the, the single jingle as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the very, single very cam ones. Very, very rare, yeah. Single cam RB20. Interesting. Sounds good though. Arby's do sound good. I'll give them that. A bit smoky. <laughs> Not too bad. Sounds good. I don't know what exhaust that is. That I wanted to address as well, like, like if you see in the auction report, it is a 3.5 grade. Mm. People say 3.5 grade is really good, but you know, when you look nah. at a car like this, yeah, and you know, and, and in other countries, like people say we want a 3.5 grade or above, and then this is what you get when you get the car over Drift there. Drift stitched, you start, you yeah. Know, yeah, you complain about the importer or the exporter. 
Oh wow, yeah, that bumper's not, completely not, trash. Yeah, Fender's it's trash. It's, that's not a 3.5 in my opinion. There's no way. This is probably an R grade if you, if you, you know, ask me. Well, it should be an R grade because it has fiberglass bumpers. Exactly. R grade just means like it's got aftermarket parts on it and like, this hasn't been graded correctly at all. Mm. You gotta be so careful with that stuff. Yeah, if you're blind bidding, like that's just a disaster. Yeah. I get that. There's a lot of talk about um, being able to bribe certain people in the grading section on the auctions too. Like you slip them a bit of cash and they'll give you whatever grading you want. I've heard that that's a very common thing over here. So you just be, take the gradings with the grain of salt, I guess. Yeah, you gotta really have someone here looking at it. Yeah. Just found this 32 GTST and it looks beautiful. Uh, a few bit of like clear coat issues on the roof, but overall, really clean interior wise it's in really good condition considering its age it's done 72,000 kilometers it's got a few usual issues that the 32's had so you know this would need to be re-glued on engine wise though an engine bay minty really clean yeah really nice rb20 you still see there's a fair bit of zinc coating on all these parts here just super crazy you know it's not there's no rust in the, no. in the major spots you know wherever they go mm, this is a really nice one this will sell for a fair bit yeah i'm jealous i'm thinking over like 17 plus yeah like 17. 17 grand yeah still got original wheels got some decent tires on there i still can't get over the dash isn't cracked yeah. <laughs> that's super oh the bubble the bubble's not like it doesn't have a huge bubble has a little one like almost a 30 year old car it's really good yeah dude it's still got the plastic um uh what should we call it's on the fenders the little like protectors yeah that's rare super nice <sighs> we're on the bottom level now we're gonna go head over to the the white corner the crash corner but um <coughs> pretty nice Hokolska here this thing's very heavily modified though. It's got a cage and stuff, but this will still sell for like 60, 70 grand. These things are so expensive now. Even if this is, you know, uh, grade R and it's like had quarter panels cut out, cut out and repaired, sell for a lot of money. Such a collectible item now. Got a JZX100 here. Turbo, not bad, 180. Workmeisters, some old Workmeisters. Damn, that front splitter copped it. Not too bad. Got a 110. Got a 14 over here. It's Colky headlights. Whew. Oh. And a hey. bum bum. <laughs> Love the battery stay. That that battery's not going anywhere, not right? At all, no. Not at all. <laughs> as long as an what is this thing? Is a Toyota Progress? A Progress? Yeah. What? The reverse uh, dishes. Yeah. Steelies are pretty nice. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> what do they do? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> JCI spec. Oh man, that's awesome. What engines are in these? They, they come with the NA1J or the NA2J. Oh really? Yeah, they come auto. I have seen some people getting into drifting these, like uh, Yamanashi Sportsland. Uh, yes, I know some people that do the manual swap on them. Yeah. 70,000 kilometers. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's so disgusting. <laughs> you know, you can put a good turbo engine in there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could fit a one J V V T I in there, right? Look at this. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's so we could get it so low. <laughs> what? Look at that. That he cut the strut top so that the upper oh, no. arm could come through. You know, that's the fuse box, right? Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. They do, dude, it's done on both sides and they just put the tape over it. Oh. oh my gosh, my finger goes straight through the strut top there. Dude, that's so freaking illegal. <laughs> just, dude, yeah. structural integrity, what's that? Uh, no idea. <laughs> the things you find in Japan, that thing will never pass shotgun ever again. No way. No way. We got ourselves a nice JZX100, I guess, and a Verossa, but looks can be deceiving. <laughs> Uh, all right, let me, let me, let me. And no, no, let's start this one up first. Let's start this one up first before we pop the hood. Right, okay. Let's see if people can tell. Give her a little rev. Oh, oh. I think that's a lot of oil. Oh my gosh. We just covered that LDRS with oil. <laughs> I 
It's a GX, single jingle. Yeah. <laughs> Good show for uh, swapping out though. Let's see what this sells for today, in case I need, I need to buy another shell. Then we got this beautiful Varossa over here. Hopefully this one has a 1J turbo in it, right? Oh, it sounds kind of beefy. No, 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 I heard that. No. It's the same motor. In both the cars. Damn well, it. At least it's got a brand new water pump. Oh yeah, a brand new water pump. Does this one smoke? I don't think so. No, uh, it didn't smoke <laughs> This one's literally dumping oil out of the exhaust. Hey, at least this could be a good shell, you know? Yeah, no, you're right. Either one of these could be a good shell for an actual Jay-Z swap. Come on, you're not gonna be driving one of these, you know? No, that's Pretty right. Funny. This thing is smoking so much. It's like dead, dead, man. Oh, it stinks so bad. Yeah, it's a lot. It's broken. I'm gonna shut that off before it shoots a piston out the block. Yeah, that's oil. That's oil, right? Mm. It smells so bad I can taste it. <laughs> <laughs> so down here in the no claim crash corner, we have this beautiful EK Type R. Um, look, we don't know why this is here. There's no information on the paperwork. Um, so it could be blown engine or like there could be rust in the bottom. We don't know um, But it's caged. It's all stripped out seats are in there Looks pretty good yeah. Looks like it's ready to send but obviously we don't know if like it's got a blown engine or what it could I also just be here What's in there, but I mean, I don't think I would affect it to be in the no claim corner. What's sorry? Oh, a bit of rust. Yeah, no I think it's more they don't want anyone claiming them because it's like fully stripped out and race yeah. spec You know what I mean? A lot of people do that. Yeah, they just put a car here. It may be running. Nothing's wrong with it It's just been heavily modified and they don't want any problems yeah. So this could be a good buy. We're gonna see, I'm gonna monitor this and maybe bid on it a bit. If it goes for a good price, we might be driving away with this today. This thing is an absolute crack up. Like, yes, problem. <laughs> I don't really know what that's about. This is some interesting artwork on there. Is that a furry? <laughs> Fair few normal cars in uh, the crash section, but uh, I found this kind of interesting. We've got the BMW version of the Supra pretty much side by side here. <laughs> it's pretty much the same car. It's just this one copped a telegraph pole in the front and uh, I guess this one copped one in the side. <laughs> Yikes. Um, hopefully everyone got out of that safely though. So a while ago there were these guys here who wanted to check out this uh, Nissan NV100 Clipper and uh, they were revving it and so much smoke was billowing out of it and all this engine oil came flying out of the exhaust pipe. Like, that's almost all of its oil. Crazy. Car's in really good condition there. It just looks like it just needs an engine. Yikes. Has anyone ever noticed that this, uh, this version of the Ferrari kind of looks like the new Super a little bit? It does, right? Like, I'm not crazy? Yeah, kind of looks like the new Super almost. But I think. Look different. You know, you notice that? <laughs> There's a whole freaking rotor missing. It looks like it like self-destructed in there. Yeah, and I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Oh man, the camera can barely see it. There you go. Oh man, so many crash Ferraris I see at these places. Yikes! Oh look, they put all the broken parts in a bag on the passenger seat for you. Oh, that's so kind. <laughs> that's so nice, so kind of them. Yeah. <laughs> really curious about this though. The whole thing's tilted like this, so and a control arm or something's broken and then just shattered the rotor to pieces. Yeah, Far I out. See that often, huh? Yeah. Like the holy moly dude, the caliper. Yeah, that rotor exploded. Look, the caliper's broken. Snapped. I've never seen that before. Yeah, this thing's at peace. In the bidding room right now, and just waiting for that EK to pop up. Hopefully it doesn't go for too much, but I don't like my chances. Type bars go for crazy stupid money here now. I am really salty, leaving the auctions with nothing. Um, the market is just so inflated right now. It's, it's ridiculous. That 34 GTT we looked at, that nice black one, it sold, well, no, it went unsold at 26 grand. Like, 
and it wasn't low kilometers either and it wasn't in the greatest condition and then the ek was just way out of budget for unknown condition for some reason it's in the unclean corner i don't know blown engine or something just insane prices right now and just frustrating Good time to be selling. Probably not a good time to be buying. But anyways, I'm gonna jump in the caveman. I'm actually gonna go hang out with Roab a bit. We're gonna go to the port. He's got some customers cars to drop off. There's always some really cool cars there. So we might just go kind of check it out. But uh, yeah, uh, I want another car. <laughs> so we're currently at the port and uh, Roab's just unloading this chaser that he's got to drop in and it's all gonna go in this yard here. It's actually kind of crazy. There's a lot of abandoned cars along here um, where people have just dumped cars here that they don't want to pay for or anything. But I don't know why they do it because you can just get a car recycled and make like $700 from it by scrap metal. But this is a yard where all these cars here are going to be getting exported. Jeez, what on earth is that thing? Huh. Thought there'd be like a whole bunch of really cool JDM cars. I'm sure there is, but we'd have to get in there and walk around and... Honestly, I think I've looked at enough cars today. <laughs> People don't just dump cars here, they dump a lot of random scrap stuff too. Like, look at this, cut up pieces of cars, probably stolen or something. This is like, there's fenders here and everything. Jeez. Very common dumping ground uh, for parts and stuff off stolen vehicles. What's this fender? Something. Part number there. I'm not sure what that's from. Looks like some kind of drift car. And then look, more, more fenders here. That's a 180SX fender. Oh my gosh. But these, isn't that like Origin or something? Yeah. 180SX fenders here. Gosh, so crazy. Look, there's even drift tires been dumped in here too. Far out. Kind of sad. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully next time we'll have some better luck at the auctions. But with that, smash that like button, write us a comment, subscribe, and uh, check out some of my other content on the channel. I'm sure you'll enjoy. Turn notifications on. See you in the next one. Peace out. Jamata.